So Holoport allows you to be uh, your own version of Amazon Web Services. For the end user, you might know that Amazon Web Services is the most profitable part of Amazon's business and one of the fastest growing industries in the world, which is cloud computing. Right? So the Holoport for the first time allows you to take with a little bit of hardware and software to become your own local Amazon Web Services. Right? So you'll be able to host distributed applications that are powered by Holochain. And when those applications are paid for, so for example, it's distributed sharing economy app, then you'll earn Holofuel for hosting that application. So it allows the world of cloud computing to go mainstream and distributed. And I think something that really stands out for me when you tell me about this project is that it sounds like it kind of it combats the issue of you know financial inclusion is giving everyone a little bit more power and resources to accomplish greater things. Absolutely, and I think it's the underlying technology. There's a lot of people out there talking about digital identity, data ownership, privacy, and when you get back to the heart of their solutions, it, all the information is stored centrally. Somewhere in the chain, all the information is stored centrally. So Holochain, with the paradigm, distributed computing paradigm, stores that information at the source for the first time. So we think that it's going to be part of the next wave of the blockchain revolution. And now looking ahead to 2020, what can the Holochain community, what can they expect from, from you guys and the work you're going to do next year? Yeah. So the Holopods are out and tested. We start getting feedback from all of our users, the thousands of people around the world, about 60 countries using the Holoports, what we're going to see is a wave of applications, some enterprise like Aeroband, some consumer. Like we're going to see people that say, hey, Telegram, it's cost nearly half a billion dollars to fund Telegram over the last five years. Imagine if we built Telegram on Holochain and it was zero cost. You know, so we're going to get a whole bunch of those kind of applications, very busy app store, and a lot of people earning a small living, being able to run a data center in their own house. It sounds very exciting, David. Thank you so much for joining me today. It was a pleasure. Yeah, pleasure.